Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing an Atlas crate and I am so excited for this. I really have been loving the Atlas crate so I'm excited to see what this month brings. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you unboxings like we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and just some spiritual insights. So if you are interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's explore Sweden. So this one is for Sweden. It says, make some magical Tom T friends. I think that's how you say it. I can't remember. We talked about them at Christmas time. Play the game of Cub and explore Sweden. <laughs> Apparently I need to learn how to speak some other languages because I have a rough time here. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So I'm supposing this is how you say hello in Swedish and, or Swiss, Swedish. Now I look like a fool. <laughs> so anyways, I don't know exactly how to say this, but this is a little card that comes with it and it has a whole bunch of different activities inside that are a lot of fun. Obviously it shows the country and talks a little bit about it. And then usually they have some different activities. It has our little friends here that kind of follow us on our journey. It talks about Thor, which is exciting because who doesn't love Thor? <laughs> and my husband is Icelandic. Just a few generations back, his grandpa came you know, straight from Iceland. He wanted to name one of our kids Thor so bad. <laughs> I was like, no. I said we could do Odin as a middle name, but then he decided he didn't want to. So there you go. <laughs> and then this, I, it sounds like a museum or something. I'm not really sure. Again, all these different languages kind of mess me up. And then an ice hotel. So that looks pretty cool. And Vikings and long ships. And then it's going to have a Swedish apple pie. So they always have a recipe at the back. So they have different activities usually on the back of these cards. So it'll be fun to check those out because last month we did some dancing. That was a little scary, so you can check out the video <laughs> up here if you want to see my lack of coordination because it is it is real, guys. So in here we have a bunch of felt pieces right here. That's what it looks like. And there's some yarn in the middle. And then we have some popsicle sticks and some little sucker-like sticks right there. And this is fluff. That's what it says, it's fluff. So that looks cool. And then roving. I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> if you know the difference, please comment down below. I'm like, I don't know what the difference is between those two things. And then a whole bunch of blocks. There are different colors here. So probably for one of the games. And then we have our sticker that we'll put in our booklet. And to show that we've been to Sweden now, been there. And it just looks so exciting. I'm excited to get into this month and to see how it goes. And so we're going to do it and hopefully not dance this month. <laughs> and we will let you know how it is. doing the Atlas crate this month and it was so much fun. We really had a good time. It was on Sweden again and they speak Swedish. <laughs> I was slightly confused at the beginning of this, but I got it. Hopefully I'll never forget again. <laughs> so we played this game. I honestly don't know how to say it. I would say it like cub, but I'm not sure if that's correct. And you get to set it all up. It comes mostly assembled. So it comes with all these little pieces right here. And then you just can put together the king piece. So you get to put the crown on the king and then attach him to this piece. But this, it, I think it said this was a, a lawn game, but this is a mini version of it, obviously. 
I couldn't imagine them sending a whole version, <laughs> like the life-size version in a box, but so this is just the mini version, but it was a lot of fun. We set it up on the floor and we put out some tape to mark the boundaries and <laughs> I was reading the instructions. I'm not a very good, I like, I like to read, but I just don't, my comprehension is not super great. I'm more of a visual person, so I had <laughs> to ask my husband to help explain the rules because I was slightly confused, even though they are very clear in here and I'm sure I would have eventually gotten it, but I just was confused at the first. So my kids had a fun time playing this, so here's all the instructions right here and how to play the game. And they really enjoyed it. We've left the tape on the floor for today. It probably will drive me crazy by the end of the day, but they have just enjoyed playing the game and it's been a lot of fun. And so I'm excited for them to keep playing and I feel like it helps too with fine motor skills because you have to throw these little pieces and as you throw them, you get better at kind of gauging distance and how hard you should throw them or not to knock over other pieces or if you throw them way too far, they're off the board. And so I feel like it helps a lot with that and it was just a fun game to play. And then we also made these little guys Tom Tees, I believe, I can't remember how to say this word. We learned it when we were studying Christmas in Sweden, but so these are the little guys. They look like little gnomes. Their mustaches are so, so big. It's hard to see. They have little noses right here, right here. But we made the two different kinds and it worked really well. I feel like for group work, my kids just took turns because there's a lot of sewing going on here, which again is great for those fine motor skills. So they just took turns and passed them back and forth and took turns who decorated the hat, who got to sew, who got to stuff this little guy, and then put on the flag. So I feel like it worked well to use as a group and it would be fine if it was just an individual child as well. And so these guys were fun to make this one skein. If you can't tell, it comes with little slits in the bottom so you can slide the popsicle sticks. And then these are his ski poles right here <laughs> that he can use. So those are really cute and it gives a little background on them how, you know, they're kind of like a gnome. You put them in your garden, they protect your garden and things like that. So that was a lot of fun to make as well. And my kids are really excited to do some of these crafts here on the back of these cards. And so they have this one for the longboat because of the Vikings. And then they have this for the ice hotel because they have one there, which would be really cool to sit, go see and stay in. And so it shows you how you can make one. So my kids really want to do that. And I'm sure they would like to make this apple dessert as well. So I really think there's a lot of great things in here and we didn't spend too, too much time going through all the individual things, but I think in the fall, we're going to be adding our, we're going to do world geography instead of just the United States. And so when we get to these different countries, we'll probably add in some of these activities and it'll just be really fun. And then I'm going to add them to our book. So here's our book. It's getting pretty big. And then I put our sticker on the front to show that we have been to Sweden. So I have really, really been enjoying the Atlas Crate and I really recommend it for if you wanna have it just for an extra thing for your kids to do or to use for your homeschool curriculum, I think it would be wonderful. So please give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these unboxing videos and we will see you next time.